Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how to create the responsive contact us form using HTML and CSS. Take a look at the final demo, in which we can see the nice background image which is fully occupied and in center we can see the contact us form. And here your name, email and subject are input fields and message is a text area. And here your name and email are in one row. Next, when we hover over the send button, we can see the button hover effect. Now let's open this page in a mobile view. See here, when we resize this window below 420 pixel, see we can see the breakdown of the your name and email input fields into two rows. For code, you can visit my uh, GitHub account where you can download the files or clone it. Now, let's get started with the HTML structure. First, create the wrapper and the container development. Inside that, create the contact us development. And inside that create the h1 tag with a content in it below this create the input fields and text area here your name and email input fields are one row in one row which means in uh, we have to place this both input fields in one development and set a placeholder value to it email This input field is for subject. Now let's add the specific class to this development. Now add the text area. Add the placeholder value to it. Below this, create the button. Now let's open this structure in the browser. Now let's include the custom styles in the head section of the HTML structure for this demo I am going to use the open source Google fonts so go to the Google fonts and search for the open source then here change it to regular italic then click on this plus button and expand this and click on the import link and import this into the styles now let's reset the default margin and padding values of all html elements to zero next see when we focus into this input fields we can see the blue borders around the input fields to remove these blue borders use the outline property and set its value to none 
see now we don't see any blue borders next box sizing equals to border box use the box sizing property so that it includes the padding and the border values into the width of the element next to remove this underline use the text de decoration property and set its value to none next include this open sans font family now set the background image to the container development background property has a url method now pass this image in the url method bg dot png see here we can see the background image and set it color to white stop the repeating of the image and set the image in the center background size equals to cover so that it covers the whole window set the width equals to 100% and height to 100% see here even we set the 100% it's not occupying the full full browser change the percentage to vh where vh stands for viewport height see now it occupies the full browser now style the contact us development maximum width 600 pixels and width 100% by using maximum width this contact us forms becomes the responsive adding see here by using this zero auto margin we can place the contact us form horizontally in the center next style the h1 tag set the padding top value to 35% in bottom 30 pixels text transform upper case text align center and letter spacings 5 pixels now set the margin bottom to this item developments set its margin bottom to 15 pixels next style the input field and text area set width equals to 
now set the background color to none and border to zero now here we want only the border bottom so set the border bottom equals to two pixels solid white color color white adding see here we are setting only the bottom padding bottom next by targeting this both classes place this two input fields in one row now here i am going to use the flex concept so set the display value equals to flex by default the flex direction is row now set the width to to this two input fields it equals to 48% sorry 48% see now here use the justify content and space between so that it uh, creates space between two input fields Now increase the height of the text area. Item text area height hundred pixels. See here, we can resize this text area to to resolve this resizing of this text area. Use the resize. property and set its resize value to none see now we don't see any resize symbol here now set the button elements margin top value to 30 pixels now now style the anchor element which is inside button development by default the anchor elements display value is inline block and change its display value to block from inline block and set the border to pixels solid white set the 200 pixels width and text align center height 45 pixels to place this text vertically in the center use the line height and set its value to 45 pixels which is equals to the value of the height text transform upper case color white letter spacing 5 pixels now on hover change its background color to white and color to black use the transition property for smooth effect see here we can see the smooth transition effect let's change the color of the placeholder value
here webkit is used for google chrome and for browser compatibility let's repeat this code for other browsers as well mouse for firefox and ms for internet explorer now let's open this page in a mobile view to make this page gets adapted to any viewport let's import this viewport meta tag now let's write the media query for maximum width of 420 pixel maximum width 420 pixels here change the padding top to 25 pixels sorry 25 percent adding top 25 percent see when we resize this browser window below 420 pixels we can see the padding is getting reduced next break this two input fields into two rows by default the flex direction is row now change the flex direction to column flex direction column see here we can see the breakdown of two input fields into two rows now change its width to 100% and margin bottom to 15 pixels hope you enjoyed this video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you